Russell Brand is an individual that has been a relatively big star in Hollywood in the past. He was married to Katy Perry, who's one of the biggest stars in the world. He was in all of these comedies. He was everywhere. Russell Brand was everywhere years and years ago. Obviously, in the last several years, Russell Brand has become far more aggressive with calling things out like Big Pharma and the left and calling out a lot of different things. Apparently, whenever you fly a little too close to the sun, things like this happen. Yeah. And not only just Russell Brand, but so many other people, so many other people have been caught up in accusations. Now, again, just because there's an accusation, it doesn't mean they're guilty. It doesn't mean they're innocent. It means they deserve their day to be heard and to prove their innocence. But unfortunately, in this climate and time, if you go against a certain set of politics, you don't get due process. You just get thrown under the bus. So YouTube decided to demonetize Russell Brand's entire YouTube channel of 6 million subscribers because of an accusation. Now we have this from the UK Parliament reached out to Rumble. Russell Brand is huge on Rumble. And so right here from Rumble, it says Rumble's response to the UK Parliament's letter to our CEO, Chris Pavlovsky. If Today we received an extremely disturbing letter from a committee chair in the United Kingdom Parliament. While Rumble obviously deplores sexual assault, the R word, and serious crimes and believes that both uh, alleged victims and the accused are entitled to a full and serious investigation, it is vital to note that recent allegations against Russell Brand have nothing to do with content on Rumble's platform. Just yesterday, YouTube announced that based solely on these media accusations, it was barring that Mr. Brand from monetizing his video content. Rumble stands for very different values. We have devoted, our, uh, devoted ourselves to the vital case of defending a free internet, meaning an internet where no one arbitrarily dictates which ideas can or cannot be heard or which citizens may or may not be entitled to a platform. Uh, we regard it as deeply inappropriate and dangerous that the United Kingdom Parliament would attempt to control who is allowed to speak on our platform or in a living from doing so. Singling out an individual and, dem and demanding his ban is even more disturbing given the absence of any connection between the allegations and his content on Rumble. We don't agree with the behavior of many Rumble creators, but we refuse to penalize them for actions that have nothing to do with our platform. Although it may be political and socially easier for Rumble to join a cancel culture mob, doing so, I love how they, uh, how they called it a cancel culture mob right there. Doing so would be a violation of our company's values and mission. We empathetically reject the UK Parliament's demands. Absolutely fantastic response. And yep. I really love what Rumble is doing. You can't help but to appreciate this, man. This is fantastic. Competition is good. We need competition. We need different platforms. We need yeah. Kick. We need Rumble. And obviously, YouTube is the Pied Piper. YouTube is the one that is still the biggest by far, and it's not even close. And mm -hmm. it's probably going to continue to be that way. I don't see a scenario where Rumble can take down YouTube, and I don't think that that's even a scenario that we should want. We should just want a good competition within the marketplace. I think that if Russell Brand chooses to continue to upload to Rumble throughout all this and just continue his podcast while he's going through these uh, allegations, I think this could be massive for Rumble as far as if Russell Brand's audience is faithful to him and faithful to listening to, that they weren't just listening to, to him because he was on YouTube, but if they make the jump to Rumble, that could be huge. Power was within the people at this point in time. I think one of the scariest things about this that a lot of people aren't talking about is, yes, this is a different country than the United States. They don't have as many protections for free speech. So with that in mind, the UK is within a at least reasonable legal um, justification for asking for a UK ban of Russell Brand. But that's not what they're doing, it sounds like. They're not saying, hey, content lock his content based on geography. Don't uh, just like take him out of Off the UK. The region. Yeah. Exactly. Region lock him. That is something that they are relatively justified to do, but that's not what they're doing. They're asking for a complete ban of him, it sounds like, or a complete demonetization of him, which is saying that the UK is trying to affect the world when it comes to their content. They're trying to censor the world, and that mm -hmm. bothers me a lot. As much as I defend the UK in a lot of situations, I love the UK's culture, at least at what it used to be. This is just a frightening thing of a single country trying to affect 
the censorship policies of the entire planet. I don't think anyone should have that control, even the United States. This is just a very scary situation because we're just seeing evidence of what we've known for a long time. We've all known stuff like this has happened with the other things like Andrew Tate, as you always talk about, Jeremy, a lot mm -hmm. of these other masty platformings that go on. We know that the government has been leaning on people, whether it be the UK, the United States, but it is very nice for Rumble to come out like this and give us the proof that we've all known is always there. So I think yep. this is actually a win for more than just Rumble. I think this is a win for all of us because we have proof that we can throw in their faces the it's, next time it, this It's eye-opening. Whether these allegations are true or not, let's say that they are not true. What their logic is and what they're doing is a complete assassination of character because once your name is associated to this, once your name is a link to it, whether you're innocent or not, you are going to forever have this black cloud over your image that you really cannot shake because that's just how the internet works nowadays. Like once, once that's out there, people might not be caught up on the current news. People might not care about it, but they heard, oh, Russell Brand is being accused of this. You know, Russell Brand's not a good guy. Russell Brand's a bad guy. Let's ban him and take him off of all platforms where we have several convicted felons who still have their channel. They still have their Twitter. They still have their Facebook. But Russell Brand, the punishment does not necessarily fit the crime. It, yep. in this situation.